Hey guys, welcome back to Dark Angel Beauty. Thank you so much for tuning in today. So we're back with another first impressions of a palette that I bought forever ago. Uh, I have a really bad tendency of doing that. I uh, Normally when I order makeup, I will admit, normally when I order makeup, I buy a lot of things at once so that I'm putting in one order or I'm getting free gifts because I'm buying more or I'm getting coupons or what whatever. But I wind up buying multiple palettes and then I a lot of times will forget about them or I'll be like, oh, I'm gonna save them for when we have time to film and then we don't film. And so now that we're in quarantine, we have nothing but time to film. So I've been trying to catch up on this. So you guys probably, uh, if you're regular on the channel, then you've probably seen me talk about this particular brand. This is Nabla Cosmetics. They are an Italian based company. They're all about like organic, healthy, sustainable makeup. I love it. I'm all for it. Well, I tried the secret palette. If you guys saw that video, then you saw me talk about the Nabla secret palette, which I was in love with. Very soft, very romantic colors. But when I picked them up, it was either right around Christmas or right after Christmas and they were 50% off. So they had two palettes that were on sale and I bought both of them. This one is the Poison Garden Palette. It is a little bit more of a darker colored toned palette, but still very neutral, still very workable. And I'm very excited to test out this palette because I responded so well to the uh, the secret palette that I think I'm gonna absolutely love this one as well. So what I'm thinking for today is we're gonna use Berry Bite as the darker color, my dark, darker outer corner color. I'm probably gonna use Honey because it's a really nice neutral color. Zen is a really beautiful pinky color. Narrative, once again, a nice like blending shade. Canvas is a good like smoothing over shade. And then I think I'm probably gonna do Subliminal, which is a very beautiful coppery glitter tone, but I'm also really into fabric and adoration. Fabric is like this nice champagne-y pinky tone that might actually wind up playing better when we see how the, the colors turn out together. And then Adoration is this absolutely beautiful white color with blue reflective shimmer in it. They had a similar shade in the Secret palette and I'm thinking that for a highlight, like a brow highlight, and an inner corner highlight, it may be perfect for that. All right, let's jump into the makeup. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, but you like what you're seeing so far, consider doing that, because we're really fun here, and uh, we would love for you to be part of the Dark Angel family, because we're always looking to uh, to include new amazing folks in our, uh, our little YouTube home. All right, let's jump into this bad boy. Like I said, I'm gonna start with Berry Bite. Berry Bite is a dark, sh dark shade, but I feel like on the eye, it's gonna be a lot brighter. Um, we may wind up using a little bit of Opera as well as like a darker toned to just give it a little bit more dimension, but we'll see how it all winds up working out. I may not need it. Um, I may absolutely love what happens uh, when I when I dive in, but uh, I'm always I'm always open to uh, to adjustment because we're never really sure what's gonna wind up happening in anything in life, makeup, everything else. Pretty color, very pretty. It's really, really pretty. It's coming out a little bit patchy, but that also may just be the way I picked it up on the brush. I did struggle a little bit because, just because. <laughs> Our poor dog has just been like a mess lately. I don't even know what's up with her. We've had her for like just under two years. We got her June of 2018, right after Nikki's birthday. I mean, obviously she's very comfortable with us. She's dealt with a lot, but now with us being home, all the time. It's like, we're quarantined, it's me and Nikki, and Nikki's not normally always here. Normally he's at his own house, but because of quarantine, we've been, he's been staying here so that we can still see each other and film and do all that. And then it's my parents and my brother's home from college. So it's all people that she loves, but she's just like, what are you guys doing? Like everybody keeps posting memes about like, ha ha ha, like my dog's so happy to have me home. And my dog's like, why are you here though? Like, I don't, I don't trust this, which I understand. I don't also, I also don't trust it, but here we are. So I'm really loving this shade. Now that I'm like really getting into it, like I'm gonna darken this just a little bit, but absolutely a gorgeous shade. I did go kind of a more exaggerated, like cat eyed triangular look with it. Cause I think it's gonna play really well. I don't normally do this. If you guys have seen me do makeup in the past, then you know, I kind of have this, this standard of like, the way I, I apply makeup and I don't always follow it, but I do it, it's just how I'm comfortable with it. So I normally do kind of like an outer corner that just stays right along here. And, and this is a little bit more exaggerated than what I'm typically doing. So my issue is always like, I'm very aware that my eyes are different shapes. It happens. It'd be like that. So I um, I always have trouble matching them. And especially when I do more exaggerated stuff like this, I'm always like mother effer. So here we are trying to match them. It is, uh, it's not It's not easy. I'm not gonna lie. It's this one, like this brow is my good brow. This brow is my tricky brow. 
this eye shape is my better shape and this eye shape is my like may do PCP shape. I don't, uh, I don't really know what's going on with this life, but it like, it, it, I hate to say it'd be like that again, but it really do though. It's fine. This is going to be a mess until I can clean it up. But you know what? You know, my whole life is a mess until I can clean it up. So, so while I'm doing this, I will just kind of like chit chat with you guys about what we've been talking about a lot lately because we've had more free time and because ultimately we would really like to be able to do YouTube as close to full time as possible where we can commit as much of our time and energy into it and provide really cool content for you guys. What we've talked about lately is we really want to start implementing different things. We want to do, you know, new segments and stuff like that. Um, I'm gonna really try hard and start telling you guys more about my life as well, which uh, is tricky for me because I wanna share stuff with you guys, but I also don't know like what you guys wanna know, what you don't wanna know, what you care about, what you don't care about. So we're, we're just gonna test out some stuff. And uh, if you guys have any suggestions, I would love to hear that. It definitely helps out to to hear what you guys are, are thinking and, and how you're interpreting everything and, and enjoying everything that we are doing. So if you have any suggestions, please definitely comment and let us know what you're thinking and what you would like to see, because that's definitely helpful for us. So now I'm going in with Honey, which is that darker brown shade, and I'm just gonna go over this Wow, it like just straight up absorbed. Wow, it like absorbed that color. It just said, yep. <sighs> Maybe it'll help fix my wonky eye over here. Amazing. This had the honey formula, like that thing just went in. It's like a concealer. It just went in and it was like, yeah, yeah, I'll just, I'll just cover it. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Which I partially, I'm like, wow, I love that. And partially, I'm also like, well, not what I was expecting. Not a bad thing, just not what I was expecting. Is the dog eating something? Rocky. Normally, if the question is, is she eating something? The answer is yes, because um, she was a, <laughs> she was found in a dumpster and then we adopted her and uh, she still has all of the uh, qualities of a raccoon, uh, desperately searching for food. All right, I'm going in with narrative now. So honey, this is the shade that we just used. This is narrative, which is a lighter shade. I'm gonna use that as a blending shade and we're gonna blend it all together and see what winds up happening. That's a pretty, I really like that. That's a really pretty shade. A very, working for exactly what I was hoping it would, which is kind of just making it all cohesive and, and more subdued. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with canvas and I'm going to just try and blend up here. And canvas was that really nice, like kind of like linen shade that I really think is more of just a, you know, neutralizing shade so that you can go in and kind of clean up your edges and everything. Ooh, I went in heavy with it there, it's fine. This is all about adjustments. We're here making adjustments. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do off camera, I'm gonna clean this area up a little bit because I want it to be even and I want it to be neutral so that when I go in and I apply the glitter shades, we can really see how much they pay off. What we've got working right now, I think I'm actually gonna go in with fabric, which is the champagne shade that I pointed out. And we're gonna see how that does. And depending on what it looks like, I'm either, either gonna go in with Rosita, which is like a lighter pink shade, or I'm gonna go in with Adoration and do highlight and uh, inner corner. So let me clean up my eyes really quick and then we'll come back and we'll see how that applies. Okay, so I went in and I cleaned it up just a little bit and I'm going to go in now with, we are gonna do fabric, which is that champagne color. And we're gonna see how that looks. And I'm just gonna do it kind of above the pink. Oh, I love, I love that. Wow, that's gorgeous. And I barely, I literally just rubbed my brush over it like twice and all of that pigment came out on it. Oh, I really like. I think their shimmers are incredible. The ones in the other palette I loved. This one I'm really liking. Yeah, I'm a big fan of that. All right, so we are gonna do Rosita, which is that that light pink shade instead of the, the, the white shade because the white shade I think is gorgeous, but I think it's gonna be the wrong, I think it's gonna play really well with those blue tones because if you look, you've got Zodiac, which is like a deep dark navy shade. And then you've got uh, Majorelle, which is like a really, a, like a vibrant blue shade. I think that white's gonna really, really complement those shades. And I don't think it would be bad with this. I just think that this is gonna look a little bit better for the color tone that we've picked out. It's very soft. Once again, very romantic. All right, we're gonna do some mascara. We're gonna see how it all finishes up. I am a big fan of these palettes. I like, I think for my color tones, I like the Secret palette better. I've used it now twice since we filmed and I really, really like the shades that are included in that. But I kind of knew that buying it, like this is just a little bit darker than what I would normally gravitate towards. But because it's got those really beautiful pink shades and glitter shades, I still opted to get it. Now this, this palette is full price, $39. 
which I don't think is terrible for a really high quality palette, which is, I would definitely say what these are. Very easy to work with, very beautiful, um, I would say universal colors that pretty much anybody with really any comfort level in makeup could get by using. But I mean, I, getting them at 50% off was a miracle. I didn't realize how good of a deal I got them. So if you guys are interested in it, I would definitely check them out. I think they're highly worth it. Um, I would look at the uh, the secret palette, and if you haven't seen my video with that, maybe look at that one as well, so that way you guys can um, get a feel for whether you like this palette, the uh, Poison Garden palette, or the, uh, the secret palette better. But both are gorgeous, both are really great quality. I'm very excited with it. Um, I'm not gonna lie, the secret palette is going to be uh, probably one of my most used palettes when this is all said and done because like yesterday we didn't film, which is one of the first days we haven't filmed lately. And so I wasn't trying to come up with like a new idea or anything crazy and I was just like, you know what? I'm gonna use this palette because it's simple and I know I can do it quickly and it's gonna look cute and it did. And I was very happy with how it turned out. So I, like I said, I think it's gonna wind up being one of my top used palettes. Okay, so this is the final look with it. Um, I really like how it turned out. I like the NAB look, the Secret palette better, I think, um, which like I said, I expected that. But I still think that this is well worth the money for it. It's a great quality. The formula is beautiful. The colors are beautiful. There's a good variety. You're getting, I mean, you're getting 15 shades and almost exactly half are matte, half are shimmer, which that to me is a, a well-designed palette because I don't think you can make a full eye look with one exclusively without having some touches of the other. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. It's definitely something we're trying to, uh, to do more regularly. Um, I'm hoping the little insights into uh, my life and all of that added something to it. I definitely wanna add more of that kind of stuff. Um, but like I said, any suggestions, if you guys have questions, Questions, that would be really helpful as well. Like, hey, you know, even as simple as like, what's your favorite color? That's just something that I can uh, have some sort of dialogue and feel like I'm more interactive with you. Um, I would love to incorporate that so that uh, we can not only uh, build our relationship uh, a little bit deeper, but also that you guys can get to know the stuff that you're actually curious to know. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. That definitely helps our channel out a lot. I know I said it before, but if you haven't subscribed, maybe consider doing that. We're really fun and I would love for you to be part of the Dark Angel family. Um, other than that, I hope with quarantine and everything, you guys are just staying as safe and uh, precautious as possible. And remember to love each other, have a great day and stay girly with a dark twist.